take your next step forward, but make sure it's a productive step. So for me, always, I always say this, do your habits of today align with your goals of tomorrow? Your habits are ultimately going to determine if you're successful or not. So if you have a dream job, if you're chasing whatever it is in business and life, if you have something you're chasing, your effort better match if you if you are determined to get that. So if your daily effort is in alignment with what your future goals are, you're going to be a success no matter what we're talking about. Dude, Ted, man, that's great, dude. I'm I'm taking this advice as I'm listening to it. I just want you to know that. Three, two, one, go. All right, welcome to today's video. It is Run With Brad here. It is the beginning of the year. Uh, it is January 2nd, and I am on my way to the dentist. I have a tooth cleaning scheduled and fingers crossed I will not have any cavities. Yesterday on New Year's, just a normal old day. I did the we did the normal traditions that we usually do. We usually sage the house and I uh, cook uh, pork loin with uh, greens and and black eyed peas. It was really good. I enjoyed it. It was a good good dinner, good meal, good lunch, late lunch, basically what it was. Yeah, went on a rut, walked my dog for about two miles. It was really foggy, and I thought that that is perfect for the symbolism. You know, we're approaching a new year. You can't really see anything. It is the unknown in front of us. I'm a goal-oriented person. I set goals. I have things that I want to accomplish, but I'm not going to call them resolutions. It's not like all of a sudden I come up with something I want to do on January 1st. Now, I do look at January 1st as, as like a reset. It's a new beginning. It's a time to that's on the calendar that's like, okay, this is a good day to start something new maybe, but I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I have fitness goals I want to accomplish, and I'm just going to keep working towards them. The only thing that I did, I made a plan. Um, I'm going to come up with, I came up with a challenge to do each month just, to, just for consistency and discipline. So, like, I'm going to try to do 30 seconds of cold shower 30 seconds or more of a cold shower every day this month uh i've tried something like this in the past and it's, it's challenging it is hard to switch that that nozzle to cold and and get in it especially when it pours on your back oh my god it'll wake you up in a heartbeat but i always feel refreshed after i do it so i'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a shot i'm gonna try to do it every day this month Next month is going to be jump roping. I, I want to get better at double unders in CrossFit. It's always in a workout, like once a week it seems, and I, I never can do them consistently. So I want to get better at that. So I'm going to, I'm going to develop these challenges. Um, I'm going to post them on Instagram in case somebody wants to to join me and be an accountability accountability partner. My overall fitness goal for 2023 is to have a combined max of a thousand pounds with my bench press, my deadlift, and my squat. I haven't officially maxed out on uh, those lifts in a while. I think I can get around 225 on my bench. I did 315 recently on squat. I did 305 recently on deadlift, but I know I can do more on on those lifts, so uh, I'm just gonna keep grinding on that. Um, I'm gonna continue my protein, keeping my protein up and taking supplements that will aid in that progress. And the title in this video, Can I Change? Because in uh i saw a google ad and it was like that was one of the most searched terms can i change can i change the world can i change myself so i i want people to see this so hopefully that will jump start the algorithm but you know 
can I change? I'm 40 years old. I'm calling this fit at 40. Like, I don't want to let myself go. And I want to be in the best shape that I can be. And I want to be as strong as I can be. I mean, who would not want to be a better version of themselves, right? Like, I want to be the... I want to be in the best physical condition that I can. It's just something that drives me. And um, I love the CrossFit community, the group atmosphere. I feel like that pushes you to go a little harder. I love that there's a program workout that will be designed to get you stronger. And that's another reason I want to do these extra challenges because I feel like some of them will aid in and my strength would be a little something extra outside of CrossFit. Yeah, I'm going to take 2020, 2023 on and we're going to get after it this year. So if you're in, join me. Hit the subscribe button, like this video, share it, and let's take this year on. I did a podcast with uh, Ted Rath, who is the human performance uh, vice president he's the vice president of human performance for the Philadelphia Eagles now the Philadelphia Eagles are doing pretty pretty dang good right now and man something that he said like really really clicked with me well it was two things one thing he, that Ted said was about the process and how yes the Eagles have goals and yes their goals are to win the Super Bowl and to win championships and and all that but they focus on the process the process doesn't change the process there no matter what happens they're going to stick with it because they know it's going to produce positive results and that's that's an, a mindset that i want to adopt like i want to believe in the process and do the work that, that it takes to, to better myself or better those around me. And then another thing that he said that really clicked, do your habits of today align with your goals for tomorrow? And I was like, oh my God, that is like, that is gold right there. I'm going to play a clip of that and let you hear it. And if you want, if you want to hear the full interview, go to my podcast. It's called Stories from the Gridiron. It's on Spotify. And you can also get some great coffee at gridironcoffeecompany.com. If you'd like to see a video on how I started a coffee brand, coffee company, leave, leave a note in the comments. I would love to do something like that. It has kind of been my passion project. So we are on a year and a half with that. All right, I am at the dentist. Fingers crossed, no cavities. All right, good news, no cavity. All right, now I got to deliver some coffee. It's going all the way to Massachusetts. It is for somebody's birthday. I just can't believe people order from all over the country. Crazy. All right. Check out my website, gridironcoffeecompany.com. All right, guys, that will be it for today's video. I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please share it, subscribe, and let's go through this journey together. It's 2023. Let's get better every day. All right, appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. I haven't officially maxed out in the top. I want to be in the best physical condition in the day. So, let me move you somewhere a little better. Let's try that.